Um, we're gonna keep a Netheron because if we life tap a ton, we should be able to play him turn three, no problem. Gnome Feratu is pretty fun. I mean, as soon as we play a Netheron, we can just start playing cards in our hand, which is nice. I don't know how much we're gonna have to life tap. It's gonna be Imp or Imp Curse Lock. Either or, we have a decent amount of removal to deal with it. No, yeah, that guy just had like the luckiest set of cards he could have had. Like, I, I, I mean, as bummed as I am about it, you can't really beat the nuts. Like, perfectly curved out, I don't find Twisting Nether, Gigafin, or um, Entitled Customer. I find... Yeah, I don't really find anything. It's fine. Am I down to keep taking damage? Yes. Curse of Agony? Interesting. We're gonna go Life Tap again, play a Netherone on three. And then after that, starting turn four, we're gonna... Oh! Low-key helps me here. Actually actually helped me here because <laughs> we now get to play uh, a netheron and then just drain soul this that's so funny actually that he helped me <laughs> thank you for the curse i should thank him actually can't thank you enough curse of okay dragged below are you kidding do you really have enough room okay fair enough we're taking three more damage here we get a Morg Forge Fiend, which I'd be happy to play soon. Um, I'm gonna play a School Teacher. I'd love to play Brand School Teacher, but I'm not gonna get that. Um, I think Grimmer of Sacrifice helps me more. I think Grimmer of Sacrifice helps me more, so we're gonna take that. All right, just gonna try to keep a full hand so they can't give us curses. I actually think that if we can do that, we can win the game. You've given me three curses already. It's turn what? It's turn four, five? And they're already maxing me out on curses? Come on, man. Really? Um, We'll destroy that, and then we'll life tap so they can't give me any more curses. We've got an entitled customer. I mean, they can't really do damage to me, right? If I constantly keep myself at, at full cards. To be quite honest with you, this isn't bad. I'm down to overdraw some cards. And then eventually play the more Forge Fiend turn 8. We're not going to ever play the coin for anything, though. We can go Defy a Life Tap. That's a good amount of damage. I'm not happy about it. Twisting Nether is not great. Defy a Life Tap. I'm down to Overdraw. I do not care. I do not care about this at all. You can't give me curses. I mean, yeah, you already gave me, like... Three of them in the first couple of turns of the game. Don't care. We lost a Moark Forge Fiend. That definitely sucks. How do I deal with this board? One, two, three, four, five. Full blown evil is not going to be enough to win it. I'm going to have to play this. I'm going to end up taking a curse, but that's okay. If I end up taking a curse now. If I end up taking a curse now. Then I won't overdraw in a turn. I mean, I'm gonna have to play it. Please don't have another curse. You've already played so many curses in less than half of your deck. Please just stop. Please be unlucky one time. That's so much damage, man. Oh, we lost a Drain Soul. It's actually pretty big. We get two Nogglings. I was hoping that one of them would heal me. I mean, I guess Mortal Coil is not bad. We go hit and then Mortal Coil and draw a card. We're going to take four more damage from the... Um... We lose Gnome Feratu. I really don't care, though. We take four more damage. We can't afford to get a singular other curse. We can't afford to get another curse. We're just going to have to sit here and pray that we don't die. I mean, how many more minions can they possibly play to kill me? I mean, I can play Twisting Nether Life Tap if the board ever gets big. Is it possible I can win? I mean, if I can draw Tams and I can dump a ton of cards, play Tams, and so I no longer need to take damage to heal. That's not... That doesn't matter to me. We're not going to overdraw this card. The uh, That goes away, and then we get a new card. It's a Gold Share Null. I'll pass. I really don't care what they play. If they don't play any minions, I'm going to play Morg, Forge Fiend, Hero Power next turn. 
if they play minions. Oh, good lord. We lost a dark alley pack. Boom, life tap. We drew Gigapin? Come on. Please. I'm begging you. Draw me healing. I lost my one drain soul. But where's Touch? Actually, Touch wouldn't even save me at this point. I need Spice Bread Baker. Tamsin. Don't draw any Fel Rifts this turn, please. Just don't draw any Fel Rifts this turn, please, and we're good. No Fel Rifts. No minions, please. Just pass. I'm begging you, please, please, please. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. That's actually not that bad. We lose a Prince Renathal. We play this, and then we life tap and go to one. It doesn't matter. Fuck you. Draw me healing. Draw me Spice Red Baker. Draw me Tamsin. Although at this point, I'm not even sure Tamsin's gonna be enough. What the hell? I mean, we're playing this as well as we could. We're playing this literally as well as we can be playing it. So I don't I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. We were offered such bad options from the Noggling. Okani to counter a spell is not great. I mean Let the ritual of What does that do? It's gonna be two abyssal waves. We lost a curse of agony, but that doesn't matter. I hit the Melarg into the 2-1. It'll wipe the board for me. We don't gain any curses. And then we can play a card. We can actually play a card. That's crazy. We can actually maybe do something. Although I'm not sure exactly what I want to play. Because I need to basically save everything here. I need to save Entitled Customer and Gigafin. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're in a position where we could just chill. We're in a position where we can just chill. We do literally nothing that turn. And I guess I didn't need to trade in my Morg Artificer then. I could have just gone face. But if he had some sort of removal and could do damage to me, it would have been bad. No! Oh my god, that was literally the, the card I needed, man. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm actually so pissed off. Okay, um... It's literally like the card for me. Holy sh... Okay, um... I'm so mad that I just lost that. I'll wipe, Are you gonna clean and then I'll draw a card so he can't lose. You with Curse of Agony, honestly, not even bad. Not even upset about it. Keep drawing your silly cards, fool. Keep drawing them! Touch, I don't care. We have one more big board wipe. We need to use it here. Actually, we could use full-blown evil instead of going for the big board wipe. Oh, the problem with full-blown evil is it empties out of space. Oh no, we're gonna have to play Gigafin. We're gonna have to play Gigafin and life tap. We're gonna have to play Gigafin and life tap. Oh. Gigafin life tap. Fucking please! Oh my god! Oh my god, you have to draw me healing, please. Tamsin? What does that even do? Abyssal wave? Doesn't matter. You get your minions back, which is cool and all, I guess. You play Abyssal wave again. Wait, why would he do that? I mean, we just have to hope that the next card we draw is literally Tamsin, right? Actually, they might not have that many curses left. Wait, maybe? How many curses? They, they have Zakul? Oh, fuck. Zakul is there. Um, Zakul exists. Zakul exists. We'll burn a card. They lose Bran. We Grimmer. How many minions do they have left? They probably have a decent number of minions. I'm probably dead. We got Theotar. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. We found Zakul. Oh my god. I don't think he has any more, right? We give him the coin. Fuck that. I don't care. Right? You have no more. You have no more, right? You have no more curses. You've played both of your Abyssal Waves. You've played everything. You've played all of your curses. And I stole Zakul, which is your last one. You literally have no more curses. I win, right? Please tell me I win the game. Your last two cards have to be Fel Rifts, right? 
Am I losing it? I might be losing it. Takes three damage, it's fine. Librarian, I don't care. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's definitely not great for me. He can pump up a minion. We have Abyssal, we have full-blown evil. We get Mortal Coil. Wait, okay, I, okay, 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 okay. If the last two cards... No, I think we win. I think we win, I think we win, I think we win, I think we win. Boom, trade, Tamsin. We can double Mortal Coil. We can also just double full-blown evil. How much damage is that? How much is this on HP? That's enough to enough for full blown evil to fully wipe the board, right? Full blown evil a couple of times. Holy shit, dude! And then we go with Okani, and we just counter. I guess a spell. I don't know what I want to counter. I mean, nothing, I mean, I'll counter a spell, I guess, just in case to cover all the bases. Next. Minion, just in case they run Denathrius, I guess? They get Fell Ripped. And then Fell Ripped. Okay, if I had given them Curse of Agony, they would have died there. But I didn't know for sure. They would have taken seven. They would have taken two, three. No, yeah, they would have lost. They would have lost. They would have lost if I had played Curse of Agony. But if they had one card left in their deck and I was miscounting, I would have lost. I knew it. I knew they had it. Oh my god. Minion, they have the coin? Yeah. Fair enough. We would have won last turn. There's the healing! My god, dude. It doesn't matter. We go boom, boom. Curse of Agony, Curse of Agony. And then we're gonna just go trade, trade, kill here. Um, I mean, removal's always good. School teachers mid range, which is around where this deck wants to be, and then gold chair and oil for tapping a ton is gonna be really cheap. Um, if this ends up being evolve shaman, we are pretty well equipped to deal with it. And if it turns out to be control shaman. It's going to be harder for sure, but not impossible once we get out of Blood Reaver Gul'dan. Like, think about it. Blood Reaver Gul'dan for 10 mana is so bad. It is unreal. Like, this is an awful card. This, this, in this meta. Partially because there aren't that many demons to resummon, so you gotta somehow naturally play the Moark Forge Fiend. You don't really have a way of cheesing it out of your hand. So, I mean, like, that definitely has something to do with it. But, like, just think about it. A 10-mana card that kind of fills your board and gives you new hero power, like, how is that better than Magister? Which, for 7 mana, gives you an infinitely scaling hero power and gives you 3 spells of varying power levels, right? Infinitely scaling guff, um... Tons of animal companions and two immediate secrets that are on the board for six mana. Like, I do think that for this event to have been fun, like a little bit more fun, I would have liked to have seen the Death Knights buff a little bit. Not all of them, because I do think the mage one um, is actually okay in its current state. I'm not going to say that it's like good, but I think that it's fine. Um, I think the hunter one is fine. But, like, Paladins probably should come down by a mana. Priests doesn't really have the same way of, like, getting a ton of value. So, I mean, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually gauge that one. Because if there's a deck built around it, it would be super good. It's going to be Perjury. It's not. It's Sticky Situation. I never would have guessed that in a million years. Why is it that? That's crazy. Warriors is just awful. Like, Warriors could be zero mana and still see zero play. That's how bad it is. It is awful. I don't really care what they get rid of. I mean, I guess Entitled um, Customer is probably the worst thing. School Teacher, okay. Definitely a bummer, but not actually that big of a deal. Actually not that big of a deal. Because, um... It, it really just isn't. Like, I wasn't really planning on playing School Teacher. I will go face, and then I'll kill this off. Wait, no. I'll trade here. This was the correct play, by the way. If you're this person, you actually played that really, really well. A drain soul first. I mean, I guess technically life tap first is correct. 
And then it's gonna be Drain Soul. They're gonna get a card and draw some cards, and then we'll kill that off. They'll get a 2 2, which is fine. We'll start healing up a pretty decent amount. Nine mana Frost Lich. It's too expensive. Oh, wait. I forgot she was nine. I thought she was eight. You are 100% right. At nine mana, she is unplayable. Or, meh, medium playable. She's fine. We have plotted long enough. For example, Guff is 5 mana and you gain 1 mana battle cry, which basically makes it 4 mana. I mean, kind of. Not anymore, though. Um, that kind of used to be the case, but it's it's definitely not anymore. I could coin out Entitled Customer, because I have two of them, just to wipe the board. Are you gonna and then they're going to play a Colossal Minion this turn, where I'll also play Entitled Customer again, basically. At this point, Blood Weaver, Reaver, Ghoul, Dan should be like 8 mana. I, I agree. Basically 100%. The fact that it is as expensive as it is is insane. Oh, I mean, that one's actually not that bad, to be honest. I mean, we can just play Entitled Customer again. That's why we played the first Entitled Customer, because we knew we had this. Um, but that's still a decent amount of damage. Oh, look, Blood Reaver, Ghoul, Dan. It's going to be absolutely useless by the time I play it. Like, what? I'll get one Moark Forge Fiend? <laughs> That's awful. No way you have, like, a Contraband Stash. We have to save another Twisting Nether or something to deal with this. Defile would also be good at dealing with that particular, um... With that particular, what's it called? Colossal Minion. We can Touch of Nuth resume that, which is nice. But yeah, it's, uh... At 8 mana, it's not good. Like... I don't even know if you'd have to change the ability. Maybe you would. I don't I don't know. Defile, that's gonna be awesome. So we're just gonna go uh touch. I guess technically it could have life tapped. I thought it was gonna overdraw, but I can't do math, I guess. Tamsin's pretty cool. Let's just destroy that minion. And for now we pass. Depending on what they do, we'll either play a Forge Fiend or we'll play Tamsin and try to do some sick removal combos. Where you followed? I climbed a diamond five with aggro druid and kept getting jam or and I just keep jamming it. It's getting boring. Yeah, the deck's not the most fun deck in the world. It's definitely um, it's definitely a good efficient deck, but it's not a very fun deck. A twist another. We have two twist another. We're just gonna play this. There's nothing that they can do to stop this particular minion. We don't even necessarily need to attack with it. We're kind of just playing it there to just play it. Um, I'm probably going to bait out secrets with touch next turn. On the 2 2. Theotar? No, please don't take my. Please don't take my Gul'dan. Or Tamsin. Or Twisting. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is actually awful. Because if they take Twisting Nether, I'm going to basically lose if they can build one or two more boards. Yep, we get two Prince Renathals now. It's definitely not good. I mean, on the bright side, no, there is no bright side. counter it's fine it's gonna be i don't want to attack with this it's just gonna be life tap heal life tap heal I and mean, i guess it could be life tap double prince renathal they get to draw two cards if i do that actually and i don't want them to draw cards here anymore it's perjury damn ah <sighs> what's close losing that twisting nether is actually awful because they're going to be able to kill my board once I play Gul'dan, and that's literally like my whole win condition. <laughs> Do I want to play Gul'dan before or after I play Tamsin? Definitely after, right? Because we want to have that be our permanent hero power so we can just deal three, heal three every turn. Also, that hero power, it's pretty good. I will admit, the hero power to deal three, heal three is solid, but I don't think it's enough to keep up with this current meta, as I've said before. Um, I want to play Prince Renathal next turn to test uh, Objection... As well as Frozen Clone and what's it called? Explosive Runes. Okay, it's not great. So, so far by turn 10, after drawing through half of my deck, I have played a grand total of one Demon. One. Is Curse Warlock still good? Curse Implox? Amazing. Curse Lock is... Still also fine as well. The control version is, is okay. We can go Curse of Agony. I'm gonna go Life Tap, see if we draw. I'm gonna see if they counter this, and then I'm gonna play Theotar. 
It is explosive runes. I don't really care what they take. I'm gonna hope to get my uh, Twisting Nether back here. Collateral damage, Twisting Nether, Infestation. So this is not great if I never play minions. Infestation's not great. We'll take Twisting, and then we'll give them... I guess Suffocating Shadows is worse, and Tamsin Realm's gonna be really good with Curse of Agony, which we can play soon. But I do like having two Twisting Nethers again. It's really nice. I want to hit him in the face so I can test for freezing or explosive. No. Come on, man. They're going to send Twist and the other back into my deck. Ugh, can I not have nice things? Naga Priest is insane. They're like 70% of the... You got rid of Gul'dan, you fool! I don't even have any demons! I've literally played like one demon so far this entire game. I feel like that was a huge misplay. I'm going to play Bran into school teacher and we're just gonna go with this combo for now grimmer not a fan impending catastrophe draws me two which i guess is fine uh these were awful these were genuinely terrible terrible options well i guess i'll go dreaded mount because i don't want to go either of these i don't want to kill off my minion at least dreaded mount holy crap that was bad this gets to hit here unless it's freezing, but at least this is okay. It's motion denied for six damage. We get two one ones, which is cool because it automatically means Defile's gonna be at least decent. This will draw me two cards. I mean, I might as well play it if we can draw something for I don't know. We get a Netheron and then we get Dreadlich Tamsin, which we're gonna play probably next turn. I mean, obviously they don't do the infinite combo with a uh, Defile anymore. But they do always make sure to file this two damage at the very least. So, I mean, that's nice. Unless they silence them, in which case that's kind of a bummer. This is a good time for them to play Impending Catastrophe or whatever it's called. Infestation. No, Impending Catastrophe is the good uh, draw one. There it is. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Bran is dead. I mean, I knew they were going to play that. It's not really that surprising. What? I'm going to go Prince Renathal... Then Tamsin, and then a Netheron for one mana. You kill Bran, that's fine. Don't Shadow Step your 4 3, please. Just leave it alone. Any good Mage decks? I mean, Hero Power Mage is decent. I mean, Mage is just all around fine. Like, I'm not gonna say it's good, but it's, it's fine. Can they attack? Oh, they come back at the end of the turn, which is Any nice. Questions? Boom, boom, boom. Prince Renathal first to make room for Tamsin so we don't overdraw. And then we'll play this for one, which is nice. And then we'll probably play Tamsin with Curse of Agony really soon. I keep pushing it off, but I'm pretty sure next turn is when we're going to have to play it. I mean, it, it, I mean, I guess it's worth it to keep holding on for this Curse of Agony to pop off, but like... I don't know. And here's the problem with Arson Accusation. The reason why I want to take it out... Is because once I play Tamsin, it is literally just a dead card in my hand. I mean, no, they can hit me in the face and it's still not the worst. So, I mean, I guess there's still some upside to it, but... Serrated Bone Spike, it's fine. Because if they hit me, they take damage. And it's still good early game. Sprint? Collateral damage. You hit perfectly! Holy crap. That was nothing short of insane. I'm taking way more damage than I was hoping to. Good God. That was insane. Oh, these one ones are actually gonna kill me. No, yeah, these one ones literally lose me the game, right? We'll play Gnome. To burn the top card, maybe it's something good. Double cross, it's not really that great. We life tap. Then I'm going to play Tamsin and two curses. It's not really that big of a deal. Oh my god, I was supposed to play Okani. We have to go double drain soul on these two. No, collateral damage is still going to kill me. Holy moly. We actually keep these alive because if we don't keep them alive, collateral damage is actually going to kill me. Oh my god, I forgot about collateral damage. I knew there was a reason that Dread... Am I dead? Does not appear so. Okay, that's nice. 
We can life tap Cleo Connie. I almost screwed up the entire game for myself. Mortal Coil? I mean, we'll hit, hit, and then we'll play Mortal Coil to draw some cards here. No, we're gonna get a zero cost copy. We need to play Okani first. Counter a spell. Counter the next spell they play. We'll play Mortal Coil. We're gonna just start trying to draw cards, see if we can find anything useful here. Maybe we can find Curse of Agony. Filling my board is nice. Actually, wait a minute. If I can fill my board entirely, if I can entirely fill my board, then I won't get any horses, which will be really, really nice. So let's put this on you, because we're never going to be able to use that anymore. And then we'll go three Mortal Coil, or a zero cost Mortal Coil. No. Yeah, one cost Mortal Coil, see what we draw. And if we can't draw anything good, we'll just, we'll just Mortal Coil one minion here. It doesn't really matter too much. Definitely bummed. Definitely bummed. But it's okay. Collateral damage w is not good. They play test. That's worse than... Um... Serrated Bone Spike gets countered. That's nice. They play collateral damage on the one ones. I will die. Ugh, this is just so frustrating. I can't believe my double school teacher was so bad, though. No, don't draw me on my fell riffs now, please. Just don't draw me on my fell riffs now. Okay, that's not bad. We can continue to fill our board here. We'll draw a card. We get the Forge Fiend. That's cool. We're going to play Drain Soul to kill this off. And then we're going to play Double Dark Alley Pact. And then we also have enough space to go Drain Soul on a minion and then Spice Bread Baker. Which, honestly, maybe we do first. It's because we have... I would, I would rather have more HP than one more stat on these minions. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to Drain Soul after hitting. We'll Drain Soul to 3-2. And then we'll fill up our board so collateral damage can never kill me. Okay, at this point, I feel like we're pretty okay. At this point, we've got two Twisting Nethers. We've got the Moark Forge Fiend to gain some armor. And we can also still just Life Tap. So we've got Insane Removal, we've got Yoinka Minion potentially, we've got Good Armor, which is just a decent tempo play if anything happens. I might have played that slightly in the wrong order. I played this before... Oh man. Innocent, okay. Mark Shot's fine. But yeah, I should have played, um... I should have played Drain Soul before I played, or after I played this. I would have one more stat out on the board. That's my bad for sure. We can play Fell Barad or Full Blown Evil at least a couple of times here. Ow, ow, ow. Curse of Agony twice. We know that that's going to be motion denied. But we're already going to play so many cards with Full Blown or, yeah, Full Blown Evil that it shouldn't matter. That costs 0 0. Full Blown Evil, we take 9, doesn't matter. Full Blown Evil again, Full Blown Evil again. Um, and then we're just gonna go face with all this, because we know it's not any of these. We already know what it is. Motion denied, that's fine. That goes to one, which is cool. We can trade Tamsin in, and then these all go face. Okay, a couple of minor misplays throughout that game, but I think that we played pretty well overall. I don't want to keep the Curse of Agony in my opening hand. I'm going to keep Mortal Coil in case it turns out to be a more aggressive matchup or they play the 2-1, both of which are fine to just immediately kill. Um, Entitled Customer will also be good to kill off a pretty decent amount of minions. The big worry now is basically just Denathrius. Gnome Feratu is awesome though. Would love to play her turn 2, maybe turn 4 depending on what they end up playing. It's probably going to be a life tap turn 2. Turn 3, Life Tap, Mortal Coil to 2-1 because they're going to play Jerry Rig on 2 because they're going to curve out perfectly. Then it's going to be Life Tap, Gnome for Raw 2. Life Tap uh, into... Not really sure. Maybe turn 5 we don't Life Tap if, if we need to play something. Maybe Theotar if we need healing or Dark Alley Pact could be pretty good. And then turn 6 it'll be maybe Double Full Blown Evil or Untitled Customer. Oh my word. Well, you actually are aggro. I was more- I was mostly joking. Hey, I got you, 
Oh no. Well, we're gonna have to life tap as much as possible to get that out. Um, Dreadlitch Tamsin on six will be decent. Okay, so they are going aggro and Mortal Coil isn't gonna really do anything. They're gonna be able to get a Pride's Fury and probably close the game out relatively soon. I mean, I can play a Gold Shire and Nolan, what, two turns for like two mana? And we can play that and Gnome Fratu. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's a 3 7. I mean, come on, find me something playable. I can't kill the 3 7. That's crazy. That's just so strong. I'm really hoping to find. I mean, again, if we can survive a couple of turns. Once we get past this initial board, we do just win the game. So, like, we just have to survive a little bit longer. I'm hoping to find a touch. Uh, okay. Defile is also goaded. Oh! Okay, okay, we win the game. The game is over. Hit him with the well played. Hit here and then defile. Um, it's gonna do one, two, three. Kills off everything. Dude, I love Defile. I think Defile was one of my favorite, like, non-legendary cards ever printed. The fact that we are able to play a card like that and, and actually compete with an aggro deck that was kind of going crazy uh, is so incredibly nice. It's so nice to actually have a chance at beating some of these some of these crazy decks. Holy moly, the Defile top deck was absolutely insane. If we did not get that, there's a pretty high likelihood we win or we lose there. We're gonna go life tap, draw a card, doesn't matter. Gnome for rot two to burn a card and then we'll touch. Doesn't even really matter what we draw. And it doesn't really matter the order of which we play cards because uh, we're at 25 HP and they've got one card on the board. The game's mostly over. Like, I don't really know what you, Pride's Fury. Soul of the Forest, actually, okay. We can just go full blown evil, full blown evil. Also fine with that. Full blown, boom, boom, boom. Full blown again, boom, boom, boom. Absolutely destroying them. Yeah, the game should be over. Hit him with the well played again. What deck is this? It is Language Hackers Control Handlock. I think that maybe we could make one or two changes for a little bit more removal because I do kind of die sometimes to that. But overall, it's really strong. 